Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the launch of the MCGM ORF report on innovative ideas from students on Mumbai's makeover. We are here today to celebrate a milestone in civic governance and, as an extension, participatory democracy. What began a year ago as an experiment today has culminated into tangible ideas that are making their way into MCGM's policy documents. We are also here to acknowledge the commendable contribution of these students who rose to the challenge of transforming Mumbai's urbanscape. This evening, we have with us Mr. Ajoy Mehta, Commissioner MCGM, Dr. Ramanath Jha, Officer on Special Duty DP Revision, and Mr. Sudhindra Kulkarni, Chairman, ORF Mumbai. To take you through this process, we have a short presentation by the authors of this report, Saili Mankekar and Prachi Merchant. Good evening, honorable dignitaries on the dais and friends. It gives me immense pleasure to take you through this project. It aims, its aims and how it has spanned over the past one year. While I will give you a peek into the project itself, my friend and project report co-author Prachi will take you through the contents of the competition and ideas that these students put forward. It all began a year ago in May 2016 when the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai was finalizing its revised draft development plan, the RDDP 2014-34, after hectic consultations with various stakeholders across the city. Dubbed as a people's plan, the RDDP team had set out to get multiple stakeholders from different fields of gender, sanitation, health, among others, to have a say in this process. There was a need to include a section that was completely kept away, the academia, and this was a good chance to bridge that gap. ORF, a non ORF Mumbai, a non-partisan, not-for-profit think tank working in Mumbai was keen to work on this subject. Urban renewal, education, and most importantly, stakeholder participation lies at the core of ORF Mumbai's work and its philosophy. And so, we approached the MCGM to carry out an exercise where it would provide the MCGM a platform to interact with stakeholders. Also, since the DP formulation process was almost over, the idea was to look at it as a process where there were linkages created with the next generation and where new ideas could be infused at the policy level. This was a very innovative participatory process that we went through where a local government body was engaging with a partner for stakeholder participation. It could not have been more democratic than this. The MCGM, the planning agency, needed committed, capable, and constructive partners, and ORF Mumbai fit the bill. ORF suggested that MCGM open its doors to students, an important apolitical stakeholder in the public participation process. We believed that this would also help the MCGM create links with its future citizens. Municipal Commissioner Shri Ajoy Mehtaji readily agreed to this partnership. The, as you can see on the slide, the idea got finalized. It was decided that there would be a lecture by Dr. Ramana Jha, who headed the DP revision process on around the RDDP 2014-34. And then we would follow it up by floating an academic student writing competition to invite ideas which would be related to the development plan. Accordingly, ORF Mumbai mobilized urban planning and architecture students around the city and got over 250 students from 15 institutes to attend an academic interaction on July 2nd, 2017. It was a rainy day and despite all of that, it was a packed house at NGMA Auditorium in South Mumbai. It was an interactive three-hour masterclass from Dr. Jha for students of architecture, urban planning, urban design, policy, who have an un inherent understanding of cities, <coughs> plannings, and urban issues. The students were given a fortnight to give us abstracts on the competition. We received 33 entries, which were put through an initial scanning process. A committee, a sort of an arrangement under the chairmanship of Dr. Jha, with our chairman, Sudhindra Kulkarni, 
MCGM officials, a team of urban planners, and ORF research fellows looked at the abstracts and shortlisted candidates. The first round of eliminations took the numbers down to 19. Then we had another round of interactions with the shortlisted students before they took to writing their papers. We discussed the plans with them. The final nod actually came in 2017 when we did an entire project assessment with the municipal commissioner, Dr. Ajoy Mehta ji, Dr. Jha, and Kulkarni sir to give a final nod to this selection of these bright seven minds. It was decided to document the process and get the ideas into a joint report which we are releasing today. And finally, and most importantly, it was decided that there would be an assessment of these ideas and we would see how these ideas could be assimilated into the system. Also, reforms were, would be suggested after studying these ideas thoroughly. Finally, before handing over the podium to my colleague Prachi, I would like to say that it, this project is the first ever, but it cannot and should not be the last. We would like to make a case for looking at mainstreaming the system of including academia in policy formulation processes and, ex and kind of exploring its scope for replication through different methodologies. Such processes not only stimulate young minds and educators, but it keeps them in touch with the real world and develops a sense of belonging to government processes and the new workforce that the public sector really needs. So I'd hand over the podium to Prachi to explain to you the ideas. Hello, friends. Uh, I'll go straight to the details. Uh, so we tried to select seven broad topics for this competition, uh, mainly covering the quality of life uh, aspects because the DP uh, talks of quantity, quantification and uh, some quality aspects, but we thought the students would come up with some innovative ideas. Second was improving the amenities. There are these mandatory amenities that, that MCGM provides, like schools, colleges, and uh, public conveniences, uh, hospitals. So we wanted them to think something innovatively in these uh, amenities. Addressing critical issues of Mumbai, uh, be it housing or uh, transportation or uh, open spaces, for example. Institutionalizing urban planning uh, within MCGM. How can we mainstream urban planning within MCGM? Suggestions in the development control rules. Uh, and above all this, if there was someone who wanted to do a critical analysis of the complete DP, DP report and the uh, DCR, they were uh, welcome to do that. Uh, and any other topic which was within the development plan report. So the uh, paper selection team and the criteria, the team consisted of uh, Dr. Jha, Dr. Su uh, Mr. Sudhindra Kulkarni. From ORS, uh, ORF, we had Saili and Dweep. From MCGM, we had uh, Hiren Daftadar, who was uh, an engineer planner and the uh, town planning officer for the DP. Uh, and uh, M.S. Kubal, sir, who uh, was a part of the DP revision team, and myself from All India Institute of Local Self-Government. What we looked at mainly were these uh, four criteria. One was uh, the research, mainly covering the primary and the secondary research part. Second was the writing skills. Uh, I mean, usually the architecture students and uh, uh, urban designer visual masters, so we wanted to check you know, how well they write. Uh, how well they ref do referencing methods and other uh, technical parts. Uh, the idea development itself. Sometimes we come up with great ideas, but how we develop it, how it evolves, and how relevant it is to the current situation is something that we look for. And how well uh, it's linked to the DP and DCR so that it, uh, you know, uh, there's a possibility of taking it forward. So these are the uh, seven topics that uh, made it into the final round. The first talked about the, uh, it, it basically covered open spaces. Second one was vacant homes. Third one was creative city. Fourth was linking density to FSI. Uh, fifth was redevelopment of chawls uh, and looking into the uh, green plot ratio. Sixth was the uh, free house, uh, reassessing the free housing component and how it can contribute to affordable housing in Mumbai. And fourth one was the level two planning, local area planning in, in its, and its implementation. So the first one, 
was backed by Burgess Driver. He's from Lokmanya Tilak Institute for Architecture, Design Studies, Kopar Khen in Navi, Mumbai. Uh, he's a final year BR student. Uh, what he basically talked about very quickly, a uh, little technical, but uh, two steps. One was at a micro level. It talked about the city bio biodiversity index, uh, which would basically account for natural resources, preservation, governance, and management practices. Uh, CBI basically aims to uh, benchmark. So you know where M Mumbai city stands today and where it needs to go tomorrow. I mean, after uh, 20 years, maybe. So they basically covered the extent of city biodiversity, ecosystems, uh, services provided by biodiversity, and governance and management. It also talked about how we can achieve that and link it to the DCR, that is the biotope area factor. The idea came from Singapore uh, uh, best practice and it uh, uh, and Berlin, and it talked about how we, what are the different aspects of the city or the building which can take the BAF uh, and make it uh, in, uh, increase the city biodiversity index. The second part, which was his main focus, was uh, the transfer of identity. What he talks about is today we have uh, recreational ground, playground, gardens, and parks. So can we unify them and look at it uh, with a blank, uh, a blank slate and saying that, OK, look at it as a garden and link it to the utility of the area. And then you give an identity. So if it is an evolved open space, like an oval maidan or ornament circle, you continue uh, you know, with the same uh, utility. Second is a proximal identity, where you have a series of open spaces, like five gardens, for example. You link it and you give it an identity, a common identity, through uh, similar materials and design aspects. And the third one, which is the most important, is a tailored identity. Today, if it is lying vacant and it does not have any identity, can we relook into it and uh, through local participation give it an identity which is the requirement of that ward or that area th uh, and here he suggests, suggests uh, advanced locality management to come into picture which is a, com uh, you know, a partnership between the local community and the uh, MCGM and you give an identity to it. He also suggests that once you have a garden, how do you develop it? So you try to do uh, permeability, uh, maximum permeability. You give uh, universal accessibility, and then look into how you can softscape or landscape, hardscape it. Introduce self sustainers factors, and then again, give it a new identity based on the uh, area and the ward requirement. The second prize went to Rupa D'Souza from Bharti Vidyapit College of Urban and Regional Planning, uh, second year MRHURP. She talks about vacant housing. Uh, she identified that there are 10.5% homes in the island city alone which are vacant. So uh, to understand what happens to these vacant houses and compare it with the, some of the other cities like London, Edinburgh, Paris, and Amsterdam, where they penalize people to, uh, from 76 days to about 18 months. You cannot keep your house empty. So uh, she proposed a system for Mumbai where uh, she took a period of one year, four quarters, basically to link it with the electricity bill or some other systems which are already in place today. And then you link it to the society bearers, office bearers, uh, and try to work out a system. Uh, she also uh, proposed that there should be an institutional mechanism of the local agency being at the head office and then ward offices. We, they create five kinds of surveys, look into the categories of EWS, LIG, MIG, HIG, uh, and derive a uh, penalty system which would be telescopic in nature. Uh, and then once you identify the vacant housing, how do you... Uh, Reutilize re it, reallocate some kind of a new amenity. So sh then she looked into the development plan where we had uh, proposed certain social amenities like working women's hostel, old age home care centers, or mul multipurpose community centers, where depending upon the locality, the ward requirement, and the proximity to the transit uh, place, you propose it accordingly. Third prize went to Darpana Bhagat from Rachna Sansad College of Urban and Regional Planning, second year MRHURP. Uh, her idea was to look into Mumbai as a creative city. So she compared uh, various cities to look into the creative index. Uh, there were three categories that she basically looked into, the venue and resources which covered the festivals, uh, the cultural infrastructure like museums, libraries, cinema screens, theaters, 
and the heritage uh, areas, the, the sites under Archaeological Survey of India and art galleries. She derived an index for Mumbai and realized that there is a huge potential for Mumbai to uh, you know, rise this uh, index to compare to some of these cities. She come up, came up with uh, some goals. Uh, basically, it asked for uh, a cultural policy within MCGM, which would look into the uh, linking of culture and tourism. Uh, and then she laid out some, uh, uh, some goals for us, like tax relief and credits for cultural infrastructure development within projects. Can we make it compulsory and incentivize developers? Uh, open up affordable rental houses for setting up these centers in public areas, setting up art and culture centers, uh, also auditing, making, doing an audit, and making uh, Mumbai, uh, a creative Mumbai scheme, also trying to do some urban design uh, exercises here for placemaking. Then we had four consolation prizes. The first one went to Varad Sathe from Lokmanya Tilak uh, Architecture and Design, Kopar Khen in Navi Mumbai. Siddharth Jain from Anjumana Islam, Karsikas uh, Technical Campus, Navi Mumbai. Imran Ali Basle from Rachna Sansad College of Architecture, Prabhadevi. Preeti Nair Naik from Kamla Rahija Vidyanidhi Institute of uh, Arch uh, Architecture and Urban Design Master's course. Uh, Varad talked about uh, linking the FSI and density, uh, look at it at a ward level, do a detailed planning, uh, do detailed planning and mapping, after which you decide how much FSI needs to be given based on the density. Uh, Siddharth talked about the redevelopment of Chawls, uh, under, realizing that the uh, green, green ratio and the social, uh, the community plot ratio goes down when you are placed from the old chawls to a new re redeveloped uh, building. So how can we introduce green plot ratio and community ratio by introducing uh, mid-level green spaces, vertical gardens, community spaces uh, in a high-rise building? Uh, Imran talked about uh, how we can make available some of the existing stock of uh, affordable housing. So he proposed a formation of housing authority within MCGM to create the housing stock uh, and creation of a self-contribution index to make the sale component affordable. And uh, Preeti talked about level two, that's local area planning. She talked about how wards can do the local area planning with the local participation, reconstitute Bombay Improvement Act to suit the administrative setup of MCGM, uh, Improvement commi Committee to uh, include concerned stakeholders, and state to implement the Nagaraj bill so that you ensure that there's public participation uh, for the local area planning. Thank you.